first one to the stick gets to take it to Bob. Which is why I'm gonna be the first one there. On your part, maybe we should both take the stick to Bob. I'll go along with that. Doggerinos, you looking for someone to throw that stick? Oh, I wish I had time, but I'm heading out to buy stuff for the big game that's on TV. What else besides this stick do you think we could put in this machine? Bob said whatever we want. Wait a minute. What are you guys doing with Bob's special baseball? Bob's special what? No! Gonna play fish. We gotta get that ball back where it belongs. And I can't help chasing balls around. Watch it, I'm coming through. This is what puppies are supposed to do. Okay, Rolly. Rolly, no, our mission is to get Bob's baseball before it. Then that bucket is on my list. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cupcake, we're on a mission. Yeah, we're fetching Bob's baseball. Well, I wouldn't want to get in your way, which is why I'll have Rufus get in your way for me. <laughs> okay, got some chips and my fruit smoothies for the game. Just need to make a quick stop at the yikes. Whoa! Okay, so, if we follow this drain through this pipe, up, back, and around, that baseball you're looking for should be coming out right about... Hello, baseball fans, and welcome to Teddy Peppercorn Day. And now, let's give a big welcome to our special guest, Teddy Peppercorn. Look at that wow. baseball. that's a really solid swing. Got his whole body behind it. Whoever finds that baseball with Teddy's signature on it is going to be one happy fan. Hey, to do, we gotta get that ball. Get that ball. Ooh. Here it is. Oh, hey there. Well, looks like you've been having fun with that fetch machine, huh? Hey, is that my special baseball? Well, I can see why you'd want to play with that. It's so rolly. <laughs> Well, I guess I never turned this thing all the way around before to see that it was there. Hot Opus! Ow, move your paw, Rolly. It's poking me in the stomach. That's not my paw, that's your paw. It is? Oh. What is it, Bob? Hey, where'd the doggy go? Oh, my computer. Oh, darn, it's broken. But at least I can look forward to seeing you two when I get home from work. Enjoy your nap, hissy. And the nap after your other naps. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? Watch it. Broly, 
Daddy, did you hear what he said? Bob needs a pot of gold to fix his computer. And we can find one at the end of the rainbow. That's just a legend. What is? That at the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold. <laughs> Let's go find the pot of gold at the end of that thing. It looks like the rainbow ends behind that factory. But we know someone who does. Oh, sure. I know that factory. I collect stuff other people throw away. And when this friend of mine found plans for that place in the trash... See that ditch right there? You want to crawl through that to the front door. Then, when you're inside the factory, you're going to ride this conveyor belt through the assembly room. Stay out of trouble, and that pot of gold will be yours. Don't worry, Bullworth. Nothing is going to trip us up. Ah! Hello? Either the water's getting deeper or my legs are getting shorter. Stay down. I'm going to take a peek and see where that guard dog is. Is he gone? Yeah, and there's the front door, so come on. The next room? Here we come. Bingo, why are you going that way? I don't... Uh, I've got you. Uh, uh, thanks for the paw. Anytime. Well, we said this next room is called the wrapping room. These bubbles are wrapped around us so tight we can't walk. We've been bubble wrapped, and we're in trouble. Gotta pop these bubbles on the doggy double. We're, we're bubble wrapped, and we're wrapped up tight. I'm twisting and turning. We did it, Rolly. We did it. Yeah, I just wish there was more bubble wrap for us to pop, because I could play with that stuff all day. <laughs> well, then, we're just going to have to pop all of it. Yeah! Yahoo! They should put bubble wrap on every floor. But how are we going to get down the hallway without going poppity pop, pop, pop? We'll have to walk between the bubbles. Other than me aren't allowed back here. What do we do, Bingo? Mine too! You a friend of Bolas? I am. I love how that guy collects stuff that's being thrown away. So when I found the plans for this factory in the trash, I gave them to him. Would it be okay if we took some of that gold home for Bob? Take whatever you want. It's all gonna be thrown out anyway. Hey, I should give some to Bullworth. We found the end of the rainbow and the pot of gold. Even though there wasn't a pot, but there was nothing but gold. Wait a minute. You mean there actually was something there? Must have fallen out of my computer this morning, but I didn't see it. Ha <laughs> ha! It works! But you know what? There aren't any dogs who are more special than you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> It's my mom's birthday party tonight, so we're all going to treat her like a queen, okay? I even got her this paper crown to wear. <laughs> we don't know how to do that. Yeah, and where are we going to find a queen so we can learn how? They have a queen in England. Maybe you should go there. Hussy, it seems kind of perfect. <gasps> a perfect mission? It is so a mission. Let's go. Now, those men in the furry hats are the queen's guards, Frank, and it's their job to keep anyone from getting through the palace gates. Maybe if we can get those guards to smile or laugh, they'd be so happy they'd let us into the palace. But that lady said they never smile or laugh. Then we'll give them something to laugh about. If we can't get past those guards, we'll never get inside that palace. Unless we go through that doggy door right there. That doggy what, right where? Huh. I'm Crumpetsworth Cream Puff Scone Trifle Bottom the Third. At your service, but you may call me Crumpet. Pretty please. 
Well, since you said pretty please, I don't see how a chap like me can say no. <laughs> to eat biscuits. At tea time, one must never eat their biscuit until after they've been given permission. Oh, after? Uh, this is a challenge. He's not real good at waiting. Nope. <laughs> can I have a biscuit, please? There is no greater compliment to the Queen than to sit still in her presence. <laughs> Yeah, I remember on one such occasion. I say, Pops, you're, you're, you're supposed to be sitting still. We were sitting still for a second. Uh, that means walk. Like this. And we say we can. <laughs> Everything's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a royal mess. We didn't mean to make a mess. I'm so sorry, Pops, but tea time with the Queen is starting soon and I need to straighten the hallway before it begins. Whoa, what's going on? Looks like Bob's not the only one throwing a party. Wait a second. A fancy table with biscuits set for tea? Whoa. Bow to the wow. It's the Queen. Greatest chew toy ever! Has anyone spied my purse? Rolly, that's the Queen's purse. Oh, is that what this thing is? Crumpet! <clears throat> Hello, Crumpet here. <laughs> Good, that sounded just like him. Just take one, the way you've been trained to do. <gasps> Ugh, Rolly! You can do it, Rolly. Uh-oh. If we go out there, she'll know we're not crumpy. Although I do like a good scratchy behind the ears. Crumpet, where are you? Good doggy. Thanks for filling in until I arrived. We need to get home so we can treat Bob's mom like a queen. Then let's roll on out of here. Goodbye, Crumpet. Cheers, lads. Hold on. It was a jolly good trip, I say. Jolly good. Oh, she's here. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, Mom! Let's do the trumpets! Boop, 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 boop. Here you go! Have some doggy biscuits! Go ahead, boys! Eat those treats! Yay! <laughs> this way, Mom! Got the birthday party all set! Well, thank you, Rolly! I always like to have this right by my side! And we even learned a special birthday song! Just for you, Mom! Ready, Pops? Your special day comes only once every year. I feel like a queen. Good work, chap. Jolly good. You too, chap. Good and jolly. Time for the birthday portrait. Remember to sit still. You guys sat perfectly still. They must know it's my special day. Wow, we look great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polly wants a pug. I can't tell you how excited I am for our vacation to Florida tomorrow. I always thought Bob was a Bob. And look at that. It's the parrot I made friends with. When I first got to Florida, I was feeling homesick, and he helped me feel better. A coconut getting, grape eating, dancing, singing parrot? Woo! You know, parrots can live a long, long time. Hmm, I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What, what rhymes with Florida? Did you hear that, Rolly? Bob's right, Florida is hard to rhyme with. I can't wait to play the beach with Bob. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The beach is gonna have to wait. I'm not feeling that well, so I'm gonna rest here until I feel better. That totally makes sense. I get it. I do miss my stick collection back home and the backyard. I smell a mission. Let's go. Wait. How are we gonna find that parrot? Bob said that the parrot knocked down coconuts and ate grapes. Bob did say he first met the parrot while on a walk in a garden. Then we should go on a walk. I love walks. Hey, we know you. Bob? <laughs> Sorry, Nelly. Are you Bob's bird? We came here on vacation to play with Bob on the beach. Except Bob doesn't want to play because he's homesick. Now we're looking for Bob's birdie friend to help him feel better. 
The bird I heard singing was right over there. Just like that sneaky I think the singing is coming from here. Surprise me again. <laughs> Rolly, I need some help. Puppy Tower come to. You are the best seagull saving pups in all of Florida. And I don't know what rhymes with Florida. Right? It's unrhymable. Except Jonathan isn't the right kind of singing bird. He's a seagull. Bob's bird is a parrot. And Bob's bird knocks coconuts out of trees. I know, I know. Oh, <laughs> Bingo, there's a bird knocking coconuts out of that tree. It looks exactly like Bob's bird. Bob's bird, Bob's bird. Down to the well, we found him. Bird to the word, you did. Bird to the word. Come on, Rolly, let's get Bob's bird back to the hotel. Then when Bob wakes up from his nap, he'll be all, hey, he's my parrot friend from when I was little. And then he'll feel better. Hey, Bob's bird, come with us to Bob's hotel. Bob's hotel. Me too, except the sand is so hard to walk on. Whoa. We can use them to bring him back to Bob's hotel. Over here, Bob's bird. Look, grapes. Yummy. And now there's a third Bob's bird. Ah! Rolly, there can only be one Bob's bird. Bingo, I think these parrots are only repeating things they've already heard us say. Ah, repeating things. Ah, heard us say. Bob's bird also sang and danced. Whichever one sings and dances must be Bob's bird. Any one of you guys like to sing and dance? <sighs> I think Bob's bird might need a little inspiration. We need to sing and dance, and maybe Bob's bird will decide to join us. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. We're looking for Bob's bird. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. Parrot dance. Looking for Bob's bird. Bob's bird. Bob's bird. If you got some. Yeah, I don't know how we can know which one's the best one that's supposed to be Bob's bird. That was a mouthful. Bob could wake up at any time. He said the same thing Bob says when he's frustrated. Suffering side orders of seaweed salad. Seaweed salad. But the only way he'd know to say that is if he heard Bob say it. Back to Bob. Surprise. Bye-bye, other parents that are not Bob's bird. Not Bob's bird. What are you two so excited about? Hey there, fellas. Rock. Wait, is that who I think it is? Why, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Oh, I can't believe it. Good job, guys. We did it, Rolly. You know what, pups? I feel so good. I feel like going to the...